Okay, Ron, I got you for one more question here in this section uh, regarding moving to 5G. And so okay. the, the question is, Ron, during the process of ascension and moving to 5G, can you discuss uh, when we are being judged and the judgment we place on people? Um, <clears throat> that's a that's a good question, and it plays into some of the things we've already discussed. <clears throat> the cabal wants us to judge other people. And that's why it's so prevalent in third dimension. We judge everything. And we have a judgment about things. We call it observation, and there's an observation of something that took place. Then we judge it. That's just a that's just a pattern that we've uh, adopted here in the cabal's way of uh, making us live as slaves to their disgusting ways of doing things. Okay, so let's just let's just say that we don't have to we don't have to concern ourselves with that because we're in charge of our lives. Do we really understand that? Do we really understand that? we are the ones in charge now if we can get rid of the idea that it, we've always got somebody doing or controlling us sovereignty <clears throat> if we live in third dimension then we have all of these kinds of distorted things and ideas but if we want to move into the fifth dimension and even on the way to fifth dimension we will change there will be things that happen to our our bodies there's things that will happen to us just because we're moving into a higher state of being our vibrations are higher the frequencies are higher and when i say higher they're they they vibrate much faster and so um there are, are laws associated with that that we just assume are true and we move into it and then here we are and we're in 5d and we get to create whatever we want and nobody's creating over us and everybody is respecting because uh, our sovereignty because that's what we all do we know that god taught us our who we are and we honor other people's dominion and sovereignty it's just that's just the way that's the way we are as we get into the higher dimensions we get rid of third dimension and all of the things that are associated with that we have a brand new way of living a brand new way of living that in the third dimension we have never lived that way before and we've never even known about it so let's just let it be true that our bodies will change, our ideas will change. We will move into a greater feel for love and understanding for other people. It's who we are. We're, we're love. We're total love. And if we're not taught to hate people and judge them, then we don't do that. We only learn that here in third dimension. So there's no judgment. There's nothing like that that's that's even associated with us. We don't do that. We just don't do that. So um, I hope that helps. It does. Excellent, excellent. And Ron, with that, this is going to end our audio series discussion about moving to 5D. Would you like to have any final comments? Yes. <clears throat> the 5D experience is a goal for us to achieve the way that we do that is to go within use our hearts to make decisions our heart will take us to the right place the decisions that is, are made from the heart from our heart are the highest and best good for us and we've not had to do that or not lived with that had to do it we don't have to we have not done that because we have not been taught that that's available for us and now we're coming into our own understanding of who we really are and how we can perform in a different way and have a different life amongst each other. Love prevails and love wins. And so 
I look at it this way. If love wins, if God wins, he's already won. And that's why we have Love won Society. Com combination of people who really understand God has won. That's all I have to say for now. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we'll end this uh, audio series and we'll come back next week with a new discussion point to talk about. And if anybody has questions they would like uh, Ron to be able to answer, feel free to private message me as these will now be sitting up on the announcement chat for everybody to review. Ron, thank you so much for your time and appreciate all that you have done and do for us uh, here. And we look forward to having you back again. It's my privilege, Don. I love and appreciate you and all of our people. This is a privilege for me. It really is. Thank you so much.